But this time, Jake doesn't get to do the intro. You're going to start it. Everyone, okay. <laughs> Fat kids. Why is it now doing that? I don't you know. Did this. Welcome back to the you Everyman, guys. No. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Look who has out, mic stands. You know what? I have a I mic have stand. stand. Where is your muff? He doesn't I don't have, have, have a muff. Oh, oh my god. His muff didn't come yet. Um, Jake, maybe put it up higher in that way. I think you're stretched to the limit. Oh, he's <laughs> he's yeah. really maxed out here. Don't hit me. Oh, look at Steve Foles. Hold on. Neil. Pull the thing closer to you guys. Pull the and then, because yeah. your thing's like this stretched. Why is the straight. table so far away? This is in That's our like, shins. Is where I'm this literally is. eating it. Now, now it's hitting my right here. Hold it up a little bit more. more. Fold it here more. This is great content. More? Yeah. Uh, now angle that more straight up and down. Angle your mic more. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's more bien. You're like, you're allowed to have it forward a little bit. Like Jim and I, if we sit all the way back, this? we're away from it. It's more like bend it right here. I know. Well, oh, we had know. it forward bend and Jim's like, like bend oh, this a lot. that forward. Blah. Blah. Yeah, <laughs> he figured literally it the worst yeah, person figured, that's ever yeah. existed. Guys, I did this yeah. on my own. Yeah. 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 We're going to cut my, all of this. We're going to cut all of this. Also, no, um, not. all of it. Um, um, can you put your mic uh, uh, cord around the bench like your headphones is? Just just so we have symmetry. So I... I'm worried it's going to pull off. I picked... Just do it. ...an excellent time to start getting very much so involved with the Phillies and watching every single one of their games. My gosh, literally, I'm, I'm on my way to church, and I have the game on Jeez. my dashboard, not while I was driving, because that would be um, bad. You don't want to ever do that. Yeah, definitely not. Definitely um, never. <laughs> and literally, Harper comes up, and I'm just like, he is built for this. Built and different. It's like it's the same. Bring it's Sally the same up. as the um, Bring Sally down. the Padres game. It's like it's you knew good. he was gonna do something. Yeah. Mm. And, then and he just, does. And it was like five it. feet above oh the wall. Oh my gosh! Hole. It was beautiful. It was hammered. And you just knew he was gonna do something. There was like a puff of dust when he hit the ball, like he obliterated it. It's great. Yeah. It, was it, was it made it so much better. Plus. It made it so much better that it hit off the pole. I agree. It was like, um, what on the cat. made it even better was the night before it was Trey Turner walking Dude. off, and I was there, and, and I so was, there. was I was Stewart. there the first and two nights. So you guys was Ian. Picked the, just a wonderful. It was game a to wonderful to. game, and Je- oh, Ian I was there was Monday, Monday, and that, and that was, was beautiful. That was even better. Oh my gosh, yes. Homers and dingers galore. I'm yes. And like, Nola was somewhat decent. I'm Nola so glad we decent. could trust Trey in that spot to. Actually I know get us he a came up, off. and I was like, he, I know he has this. Yeah. And he almost dude hit into a double play, but I still, gotta tell you, he when Brandon real Marsh hard. came up, the crowd went insane. Yes, yeah. the crowd yeah. was yeah. amazing. Dude, that's and when Stott Brandon stayed Marsh. in the game after being out there for yeah. like five minutes with the trainer. I threatened the yeah. pitcher. <laughs> I said, "We threw snowballs and batteries at Santa Claus. Imagine what we'll do to you if you hurt Stott." <laughs> Well, one, of a, one of my friends is trashing the pitcher Monday night. He said it was, he started screaming about his ERA being higher than the price of gas. <laughs> <laughs> That's very uh, high. <laughs> but dude, why was he yelling at Nola? <laughs> <laughs> but dude, tr- Turner's hit. So I, I, um, I was in my room watching it while editing. So I quick ran into my dad's room. I was like, oh, the Phillies could run it off, could right. walk it off. And his hit, honestly, I feel like if. If that didn't hit the glove, it. Might I don't think Marsh in, wouldn't have scored. Yeah, I think it would have gone into center field. Yeah. It would have gone into center field, but I don't think Marsh would have scored because I feel like it would yeah. have been like he would have had it right away. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that was that was phenomenal. That was yeah. amazing. So was yeah. it like packed down yeah, there? Yeah, it was, it was forty thousand. Forty thousand plus. plus. Yeah. Holy cow! And Dude, it was, well, it was a playoff well, atmosphere. It was playoff atmosphere. Yeah, it yeah. was Dude. definitely so loud. Like you know how when like the radio gets too loud and she's like a buzz. Yeah. That's how it was, dude. Yeah. It seemed like it was insane, and it, it made it even packed. better because the um because the guys were doing the broadcast. In yeah, the stand, in the stands, in the stands, yeah, we, so I you saw could him. hear it like yeah. so much yeah. clearer than a normal after, game. After after um he walked it off, like everyone was going nuts. There was a couple sitting right next to me, and the guy tackled the girl into my feet when he was done. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, it was be- amazing because that. Monday night, I was four rows off the field, and Tuesday, I was seven rows off. So, nice. Dude, there's That's some something. gnarly seats. I haven't been yeah. to the Phillies enough yet this year. You haven't? Yeah. I've really gone two haven't. games. But hopefully a uh, playoff game. Yeah. yeah. I know. I, I really hope I can go to one. Dude, yeah. we do an everyman, guys, Ooh, at the, the Phillies playoffs. playoffs. We're just going to have to all give up a kidney <laughs> <laughs> in the next week or so. Yeah, um, well, maybe for the World Series. Which leads us into the next week or so is very disappointing news. 
Did you guys see Shohei Otani? Yes. yes. Dude. I told I my dad not last night that worse. I'm scared for his and career. And then they said today that he might need TJ. Yeah, for the second Dude, time. Dude, that's... That's rough. And you can see the just the defeat in his face. Because he knew in the second game. This is how great he is, though. He tore his eight UCL. They took him out of the game. He got an MRI between game one and game two of a doubleheader. Mm-hmm. They told him he tore his UCL. And he said, I want to come hit for the second game. Yeah. Like, okay, yes, dude, yes, like, I love that. But do you know what I hate so much about it? Is everyone that I've watched like, something on or read something on is already saying, yeah, I knew he wouldn't last long uh, yeah, doing exactly. pitching and batting. Exactly. Never, Jacob no DeGrom one has does, ever been able to do that. Jacob DeGrom hasn't pitched in like five years because of Tommy Johnson. <laughs> he doesn't bat. Shohei, I think, like, has one of the lowest ERAs in all yeah, of baseball. I agree. Yeah. He's going to he win the, the MVP. he has the major league lead in home runs. Yeah. <laughs> I think it makes it even worse because like, it was all like, oh, could he get traded? Will he move on from the Angels? Yeah. So now it's like And it then he's going into an offseason where he's going to yeah. get a killing. Uh-huh. He think, should still, but I don't think he's going to get as much. I was just going to yeah, say, I don't not. think he's going to get that 600, 700 yeah. million that they think he's. Is that just because of the injury? Or yes. you just say yes. like he just probably won't. Like, he probably that's won't absurd. because of the injury. Well, well if well, you're a team, you're not paying that yeah. much money he's for probably, a guy. If he's getting TJ, he might miss all of next year. Yeah. If he wants that's to pitch again, he'll miss. Least. He'll pitching miss at least. all that's year insane. and next year. <laughs> like he won't bat next year. If he gets TJ and he wants to pitch again, he will not bat next year. Yeah. I guarantee you. Well, that's because they will want him to pitch as soon as possible. So yeah. they're so not going to have DH? a bat and risk out there. Oh, really? That's what I think. I because because Harper, you don't really like Harper. It's not Harper, the end of the world if he's not out in the he's, field. He's DHing, and yeah. it's like it, he doesn't need to field, and he can hit even if it tears again. Yeah. But if you want, if you're True. paying Shohei to hit and pitch, you're not sending him out there after TJ and having yeah. him having him hit. Good I don't point. think. Even though he's as good of a hitter as he is, which is absurd. Uh, if you're just paying him to be a hitter, yes, I think you. T- I think that's the yeah. thing you have to discuss. Well, Do like, you want to be well, pitching? That's the thing, the, is if he's a pitcher and a hitter, he might get six hundred million. But if he's only one, he might only get. Because he's a three hundred million dollar pitcher and a three hundred million dollar hitter. He's a three crazy. plus. He's That's a three true. plus in each. <laughs> crazy. Yes. Like I wouldn't mind giving him like looking at his pitching and then looking at his hitting. I wouldn't mind giving him three plus in either of those categories. Like yeah, Same. like he could be eight hundred dollars. He should go play over in Saudi Arabia and get a billion dollar deal for one he year. He probably would. <laughs> he would probably get two billion. <laughs> <laughs> he would instantly become the king. <laughs> yes. They're like, we will give you our country. Just pitch for us. You got it. It's all yours. <laughs> You don't have to be good. <laughs> we just want your name. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Was and Trout literally came back, was reinstated from the IL, <sighs> and then was it directly reinstated to the IL. I uh, know. It was literally a day. In later. what other sport is there players like Otani and Trout where you just feel bad for them because of where they are? I can't. I don't feel bad because of where they are. I just like. I feel bad because for ultimately it's their decision. He, yeah. Well, right? Trout decided like, to sign a contract there, so I can't feel bad for him because he decided exactly, to. Yeah. I may feel more bad exactly. that this just nobody can stay healthy. I feel bad for baseball that they're there. <laughs> like <laughs> I feel bad as a baseball True. fan that they're not competing. Because I, yeah. I'd much rather them be in the Angels than the Dodgers or something. Like, like I don't yeah. want them to go to the Dodgers or Yankees. Oh. <sighs> Imagine that's where uh, that's the where Yankees. the whole public wants them to go because L.A. and New York. But yeah, the New York Yankees, uh, I just, just I feel no like player should the ever Yankees go there. That are remind fun. me of the no, Spurs. I'd, I'd rather I'd rather Tony go to the Yankees than the Mets. Maybe it's just because I'm not involved. Yeah, as you're much. not involved because <laughs> you hear everything about the Yankees. Um, no. Yes. Wait, what? Almost what are you saying? No. Yes. What? I, it Tell would me. kill me to see Trout with the Mets for sure, but. He said he'd rather see Otani on the Yankees than the Mets. For the um, for the for the I Phillies fan, agree with him. for the Phillies fan in me, yes, obviously because he's a competitor in the division. For the baseball fan, the Met, the Yankees are just like they're I just, disgusting. They're just the worst. Yeah, they're, they're just the worst well. managed and worst. Like we're the Yankees, hmm. And it's like shut up, yeah. go away. You're not fun. Like you, you don't watch the Yankees in the playoffs and go. Oh, they're really fun. You watch them and go, I hope the other team destroys them and all <laughs> yeah, their fans cry. Yeah. The Mets, it's like, if you're like <laughs> the Mets, yeah, these are just funny. Are the Yankees <laughs> point, then I'd rather see them. Yeah. yeah, as a baseball fan, I'd rather see them on the Mets. As yeah. a Phillies fan, I'd rather see them on the Yankees. So do you guys feel like the Yankees are the Dallas Cowboys of baseball? <clears throat> no. 
No. No, because the Yankees Meaning won like one they, recently. They are fan wise. Fan wise yes. is what I mean. Uh, yeah, I would put them in the same route as the Toronto Maple Leafs and the and the Cowboys. But, but the here the thing is though with the Cowboys is the Cowboys is like they haven't been good in forever and like ever they just only their fans say oh you know they're al-, like the Yankees I hate them but you're, they're they're allowed to be like hey we're the best because. Yeah, for well, two hundred years is they've at been least the best. The Yan- like the difference between the Yankees and Dodgers is like, at least the Yankees actually have history. Fans. Yeah, also, yeah, like, exactly. Dodgers fans show up in the sixth inning and leave in the eighth. Right, like, exactly. It's just like, well, what? It's just L.A., so they'll yeah, they don't care. What but. makes you guys, Jim? You specifically, because you talk about him more. What makes you root for Otani? Uh, he Why is... do you like him specifically? Um, well, because I don't think he's, I don't think people, people want to just go like, okay, we heard enough about, but like, he's literally the great, like you're watching, like appreciate that you're watching one of the greatest performances of all time. I I feel like I can, I feel like you can say the greatest player of all time. I think so. You can athlete, like sport, Athlete, athlete. Why not? I think so. I think so. Um, I think you have to appreciate that, but also like, he's not like a, um, jerk about like, he's just, he's just fun to watch. And like, you can root for the person. As well as the talent, yeah. you know what I mean. Like you can go, oh, I'm like he. He's a good he dude too. He does seem like, like a really down to earth guy. Like, yeah, I feel he's like, like he's really yes. cool. Like, yes. yeah. he's so he, easy to root for because he's not like a per- like personally, he's not really. He reminds me a lot of Giannis in like personality wise. Yes, but he's even more down than. Giannis. But like, what well, I'm yeah. saying, like Definitely. Giannis has that personality and drive with basketball to where he wants to win. He wants to yeah. be the best, and he gets more excited and like hyped up about a, a specific play to where i don't know i feel like some some guys have more of like a um i don't even know how to explain it but like you can just tell the drive yeah. that they have to mm-hmm. win mm-hmm. and it makes that so attractive yeah you know, to yeah. say root you mean, for it yeah. and it makes him like easy to root for yeah like seeing otani like, get like emotional after striking tri- striking trout out in the world baseball classic like him like like you remember seeing it, like that was amazing. Yeah. Like that was so awesome to see yeah. him do it. Because like he rarely shows a ton of emotion. Yeah. He doesn't really when he's batting, but and when even, he's pitching, you can see it. Like he'll he'll strike a guy out and just like yeah. he'll he'll get emotional. When like, uh went a little bit recently when he did have like a go ahead bomb or something, he actually did a bat flip. Like Yeah, one of the best bat flips. I know. He was just like Yeah, he just, he just watched the ball and just yeah. like Oh man, it was so good. The greatest bat flip, bat flip. In history, I think is Jose Bautista better than uh, bat Hoskins. Hoskins, spike? Hoskins bat spike is so, the greatest <laughs> celebration of all time. How but, many bat but, spikes have there been? That's a good question. Uh, Garrett <laughs> Stubbs had one early in the year, and I <laughs> yeah. said that was so cool. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then um, Reese's is better because it was in the playoffs, and it was just like oh, that's that was a good awesome. question. Spencer Strider, who that's was, a good question. Also, Reese was like. His head was exploding because he was like yes, he <laughs> screaming had been so, so loud. Yes. Scott Stubbs just hit a walk off in a regular. That's game. a good question. Yeah. Best celebration from it doesn't have to be just baseball. I mean, I would have to think about it. I would definitely have to think about but it. But that's uh, that's a good one. I feel like Hoskins you, bat spike is pretty yeah. legendary. But also when Harper's rounding the bases and after he hit the bomb against yeah. the Padres, I know you biased because like it just happened. It's fresh. Yeah. yeah. Do you but, remember Jose Bautista though? Yeah. That that, home run. I you remember the hit. Do you remember seeing he, that? Um, the reason it, he got in a fight with the Blue Jays in the playoffs. And just yeah. stood there and went. Yeah. And like the, yeah. just this shit. I mean, like, yeah. But I, I, just, I have a lot of hate for him. So. Oh, yeah. I don't. I don't love him as a person. But that's <laughs> amazing. That, <laughs> yeah. that moment. I don't know. He was on the Phillies in like 2019. Yeah. I didn't really pay attention to him enough. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Um. Maybe, I would say maybe that can be a future podcast topic. Yeah, yeah maybe we do that. We do it. Uh, but even even Hoskins later in uh, when he hit the home run in the in the last game against the Padres when he like when he like spins the bat and is like skipping down the yeah. or he yeah. hits it and it just lets it go out of his arm. Oh, <laughs> or he Gene, had some. Or like not he a home run, some. but Gene's where he flips it up Reece and like yeah. has so Watches much in go. him to where yeah. he's like he's he has a he's lot of trying screw you. to tick off the other yes. players. Well, the greatest home run trot of all time is Reese Hoskins against the (laughs) Mets. Mets, (laughs) Thirty-two seconds. I I love that it was like that was the thing is like track the amount. I love love how we have Hoskins right there, and then we have Bryce after hit the walk 
Yeah. He's like flying Just around. Gone. They literally do that. They literally have gone. a video where they show how many times Bryce got around the bases <laughs> versus how many times. Like it was like two. Bryce would have gotten around like two and a half times before yeah. <laughs> Raskins got around once. They just did it with uh, Real Muto and Harper's inside the Parkers. Yeah, that was another thing. I was there for Harper's oh, inside Harper's the Oh, Harper's Parker. inside the Parker. That was, and he's just doing like, yes. Oh, my yeah. gosh. And he's just like, yeah. Bro, I was I like, know. oh, you're yeah. so that awesome. That pose was insane. Yeah. Well, dude, as soon as that ball hit in, like, you could tell he wasn't going to get it. Yeah. As soon as it hit, I was just like, go home, go home. Because yeah. yeah. you knew at that point he was already yeah, rounding. The crowd was just yeah. getting louder and louder as oh, he got man. to the next I will base. never see a uh, see a ball hit that wall and not think, and real mood, <laughs> I literally, for a well, day. We have a group chat. I was like, and perfect, and yeah. 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 Oh, Well, dude, I was, man. like, watching that game and then also watching – um uh the one game, the game on Wednesday. Yeah. Obviously, they didn't win. It is what it is. But it's like, okay, we're getting ready for playoffs. Yeah. And oh you know God. that they're going to just go in with that. Yes. Like, they're they're hot now. I yeah. feel like last year they got hot at the very end. Not that we're um, not at the very end. <laughs> they, they, had a, they had a horrible, brutal September last year. Yeah, they, and they, they literally. Almost blew it. They, they, yeah. they, they almost shouldn't have been in the playoffs. If the yeah. Brewers the could Brewers do anything. Yeah. Um, the Brewers led us into the playoffs. But I think. I think you're right. Is I've I, 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 this most they have scared more I've confidence been. Now. The most scared I've been going I into September because I, of that reason. I'm like, they're good going into September. Then I'm like, wait, wait. Yeah. But the difference is, my though, only thing is, I think people have their expectations on automatic. Too easy mm-hmm. to to the World Series, and it, I, yeah. I'm it's, just trying not listen, to let myself get there because listen, the Braves. It's going to be a lot more challenging. Yeah, oh, yeah. Sure. the we Braves. We have to play the Braves first. We'll talk about the to Eagles get to next. the World Series. <laughs> Uh, do we play the, the Braves first? Well, I mean, if we get to the... Uh, oh, we're going to have to go through the Braves. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, first, we're... Pl- though... We're going to have to play the... That's But how me. much better are the Braves? Much better. A lot better. Than they were Pitching. last year? Pitching. Their pitching is on point, and now they have the lineup. Uh, yeah, but I feel like all we didn't have a ton of confidence that we were going to smoke no. them okay, last year. No. I mean, in I my agree. opinion, Spencer Strider is the best pitcher in baseball. But also, I think the Phillies are better than yeah. they were last year. Though, he's, he, he's a little bit fake, too, because he's had some bad who, games. Who, who? Spencer uh, Strider. Spencer Strider. He's had some rough games. He good. has, but he's he also dominates, dominates, the, Phillies. Like 14 yeah. dominates the Phillies yeah. every time. Um, but we have Michael Lorenzen, so... He's cooled off a little bit. <laughs> yeah, um, just a little. Yeah, I would Hold say. Hold on. I would, say, I would say, though, that he's probably gassed for number one. But also, he did come in and have two of the – like, you didn't expect Another him. fear I have is did you see how bad our defense has been? Like, yeah, every random oddly, game, we just, yeah. like, have yeah. these te- – It's Tuesday like night, all we started on one off game. with yeah. a grounder there first, and then he flipped it wide to the pitcher. Yeah. Do you and know, know what scares me, though, more? dropped it. What scares me, though, more? JT Real Muto cannot hit. Oh, I baseball. know. Oh, my gosh. He is horrible. I, right now. Honestly, every time he comes up, it's the same confidence that you have for Harper. You have the confidence that he's not going to do it. Real Muto, like last year in the beginning of the year and the year before in the beginning of the year, wasn't very good. But then after the All Star break, he seemed to really get going. Yeah, yeah. And was really good. He, I have not seen him get going yet. No, I have not way. seen him string he, together. Also, that's well, when we were he, with Hoskins when, last when year. We were, so remember when he had that cycle watch? When we. When he got the cycle, yeah, right in that he was like hot, really hot yeah. for a week, yeah, and then it's just like falling off, and then the, he'll hit a run a random yeah. game, and then just never again. The it's difference like, I'll say there with with Hos, sorry, no, the good. difference I'll say there with Hoskins though is Hoskins was was doing his job. Yeah. Hoskins is there to hit lefty pitching, and yeah. Jack home runs and get thirty home runs, and he did it. You know what I mean? Like Rio Muto's there to like set the table and be on the bases and run, the, and he just can't hit anything. Yeah. I feel like right now it seems pretty obvious to me that like he's trying too hard to yeah. get something going. I think so. Like when you swing at that pitch yesterday, and like you can tell he's, he's just trying too hard. And to every, be, trying too every hard every to make something sweeper, happen. Every sweeper, slider. But to be fair, anything. he let that first one go, and that was a ball, and he called that a strike. So if he yeah. lets that uh, that uh, that last pitch go, and they call it, and he's standing there, you're going, why aren't you swinging at that? Because yeah. he called it last time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't think he would have yeah. called it a strike this time, but well, he I mean, did call that outside sweeper outside. Yeah. a strike. So he sees an outside sweeper again. He's going to go, okay, well, I got to swing at this. That's just why yeah. it ups But that last you. one. Oh, yeah. Like, if you look at there. it on the like the game cast, whatever, yeah. it was in the other batter's box. Yeah, it would have it would have been a ball for sure. Yeah. Speaking of um, other batter boxes. Slow. Um, Cookies. <laughs> easy road to the final. The Eagles this year. 
because I'd like to talk about the Eagles. Because it, I can't remember. Can you remember a single time being so unbelievably confident going into a season? I was just gonna no. say, everyone, last year, anyone who fears I don't a, a single so. team in the NFC, raise your hand. <laughs> like versus this, the Eagles this year. <laughs> no. This year is gonna be the first year that it's in however many years that it's back to back NFC champs because it's gonna be the Eagles because. In the last, how many how many years was it? Like, however many years it was, it's always been. It, there's there hasn't been back to back. Yeah, 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 yeah. NFC East champs, champs. Yeah. Right, right, in right. a very long time. Yeah. Yeah. and this will be the year that it's broken. Because here's like here's what I'll say. Years, I think. Because Commanders no, Dallas no. I mean, Giants no. I mean, Dallas Giants is going to be definitely up not there. Dallas is not. 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 I would say I'm scared. I'm more scared of the Giants than I have been in many years. Okay, not scared. because why? I think their defense is pretty good and their do coaching you, is pretty good. Okay, but Brian do you Dayball's think Daniel really Jones coach. is going to be better the than he only, was last year? No, I, I'm not okay, worried the, about Daniel Jones. I'm thinking about their I defense in there. The, like littlest worry about is the 49ers. What? I'd be more concerned about the Vikings and the 49ers. No. My are you Cowboys, Cowboys are second on my list. That no, says you something. Might of I'm all the teams, I'm more concerned about the 49ers. Yeah, I, that's By what I'm far. saying. But I'm not scared Their the defense. least bit about the Vikings. I'm not scared. No. Honestly, uh, I'm not scared of any team. But it, I feel like if I no had defense. to guess, they I would no say defense. that the Vikings have no end up. They, and they just lost Dalvin Cook. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Sl- remember Slay? I think that, yeah. I think Slay that shut, shut down. down. It, I, mean, yeah, I think Justin I like, Jefferson had two receptions, yeah. 14 yards in it. I like yeah. Kirk Cousins. I think he's a good dude. I think he's a serviceable quarterback. But against this is where I'm. I am at the offense. I I know what I'm getting <laughs> dude, with the offense, dude. I heard I someone, am so I was like, ready to see this defense with Nolan Smith, Nicobe Dean, bro, Jalen like, freaking Carter. The way they've been There's talking about so Jalen, much Carter. Hype around Jalen Carter. Jalen Carter. I am so excited. You can't point at a single position and not point out like an all star. No, not said, not like, only we have this on Reddick too, who was one of the <laughs> leaders in sacks. I know. It, like you take away AJ Brown and then there's Devonte Smith. Yeah. You take away the receiving game and then they have this. Um, just a bevy of running it. backs, and then we just still have. And the also, MVP they said that J- they're well, super high. Have they've been, MVP, they have, they're one of the top. Um, they've offered one of the top offers for Johnson Taylor. Uh, that was comment, him so bad. comment a better wide receiver duo than um, ever. Not con- than Devonte Smith dude, and not according also, to AJ Colin Brown. Cowherd. Also, also <laughs> who do you say? Dude, Bengals. No, literally, there was a t- he did a top ten. Uh, Garrett Wilson um, and Aaron Rodgers were above him. Literally, they're not even on the top 10 list. They're not even on the top 10 10. list. Wait, wait, wait. For wide receiver quarterback duo? Dak Prescott and C.D. Lamb. Do the thing. Which one? The, the, uh. Oh, you want me to do it? Uh. Yeah, no. (laughs) Dak Prescott and C.D. Lamb. Hold up. What is? I'm, I'm looking at it. What? Hold on. What basis is he going off of to say that? Did did he not see what AJ Brown and Hertz did? Oh, although uh, whatever, he's just saying it. Yeah, he's just, just to I, get the producers whatever. make his list and then Traction. he says whatever the producers like. He yeah. just is there. But like, no, a wide receiver duo, oh, like yeah. like two receivers. Right, hold up, Devontae Trevor Smith. Lawrence and Calvin Ridley are number two. Yeah. Hell, wait, Calvin wait, Ridley wait, wait. didn't play at all this year. Derek Carr and Chris Olave are number five. Okay, is it Mahomes and Kelsey? There's no. three. Yeah, Mahomes How and Kelsey are they not number, number one? one. Are you serious? Exactly. Okay, wait. How are they Who's not number, number one? one? Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase. That's arguable. That's, 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 that's very, too. That's that's very solid. Josh Allen and Stefan Dixon should be true. Right, you, listen, you can say Travis, one. Kelsey. Okay. I'm okay right, with right. number one. Number one, Burrow and Chase. Okay, number two, Hurts and... AJ no. Brown. I was Trevor hurt. Lawrence and Calvin Ridley. They haven't even played, they haven't together, even played yet. together yet. That's Three, we got him. Mahomes and Kelsey. Who so are is these just predictions? Lock at one for uh, are these yeah. predictions for no. this year? Colin Calhart's top 10 QB and wide receiver duos in the NFL today. Number four, Based Aaron Rodgers and Garrett Wilson. Okay, that's absurd. Number five, Derek Carr and Chris Olave. How are they number five? Number six, you get the Allen and Dick, Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs. It's Seven, Kirk Cousins, Justin Jefferson. Eight, Dak Prescott, CeeDee Lamb. Nine, Tua Tagovailoa and Tyreek Hill. To have Tua on the list. <laughs> Ten, still above Jalen Hurts and A.J. Brown, even Jalen Hurts, Devontae Smith, Jared Goff, 
and Amon Ra St. Brown. Are you listen, serious? Listen, Jared Goff <laughs> and Amon Ra St. Brown, I think, belong on a top 10 list. Okay. I the think issue Aaron I had, and Wilson the too. issue I had, but yes, Aaron Rodgers and, uh, and Garrett Wilson I think the also. Pop off this year. I think those two oh, at least. I think do those two predictions at on least. But what I will say is to not to have Trevor Lawrence and Calvin Ridley in the top five right now today is bullcrap. That is the that's like you haven't seen them play. So same with Aaron Rodgers and True. Garrett Wilson and Derek Carr and Chris Olave. True, but the issue is you haven't well, seen okay. Calvin Ridley in a year. Well, the you only know reason, what Garrett Wilson is. The you know only what, reason and Aaron Rodgers has been Burrow and Chase year. are on the list is because they've seen what they've done. Yes. So, okay. So, so then, how is Hurts and AJ Brown uh, or Devontae Smith even more in absurd. at least like, top three? How is Mahomes Kelsey not one? not one? I, I, or two? I don't I feel like think that it's even one. remotely arguable. Yeah, I, I feel like so. that. Should when be was the last time someone stopped them? I don't think so. I don't think That's they the, ever like, have. <laughs> They're still running through them. Throw them it's, in. it's not even debatable. Unless they, should, unless they kept uh, tight ends. And I would love to see no, Hurts and Travis Kelsey and, Kelsey and Mahomes are three. Oh. oh. They put Trevor oh, Lawrence man. and Calvin Ridley above Mahomes <laughs> and Kelsey. Yes. It's ridiculous. I just don't think that's a real list. All right. You're so um, stu- it's made by like the same people stu- who said the one guy said that Justin Fields is better than Jalen Hurts. Official prediction for the Jets. You don't have to give a exact. Uh, uh, just really we, rank them in their division. Can we just go do the divisions? That'd be a long podcast, guys. Yeah, we should. Well, wait. We'll no, wait let's, for that. we can just make a each person just make a prediction right now for the each division. Yeah, it's not going to take that winners? long. Let's go. I'll I'll do it. I really want to talk about need this. A chart in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't name all the teams' divisions. <laughs> NFC East Eagles. Let's start with the hold NFC up, East. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! All right, yeah. Let me let's, hold up. Wait a minute. Let's get it, and then each Delta person just team. quickly say one, two, three, four in each division. Oh, we're doing. Why don't we just do? We don't need to real like unless we want to like all talk about it or whatever. But no, I was thinking I'll just say who wins the division. That's what I was thinking. I know, but you Why said about the Jets and the Jets aren't winning the AFC East. All right, well, if you have a real, <laughs> so, uh, basically, he just wanted to I, talk about the Jets a little. I don't. I actually hate the Jets. I I, no I, I will start I with I like NFC North. Right. Okay. What? That's Here. the most awkward division to start with. No, I know. The, I know. NFC North. I'm saying the Lions. I'll say the Vikings. Vikings. You're saying uh, the Lions? Wanted, uh, why? I wanted to say Lions. They were really good last year, and yeah. I don't think the Vikings are going to be Do you think this year? Okay, year. do you think this year is the Lions Speaking year? Speaking of the Lions. Like, do you think uh, they're going to take Everyone does, so I don't I think so, but I want. All right. Um, I'm going to say NFC Vikings. North. Jared Goff is also a very good quarterback, and everyone just overlooks him because he's not better than other people. For the heck of it, I'm going to make a bold prediction and go Packers. I've heard people make that prediction. I I don't see it. Because I can see all four of those teams those not teams, being, yeah. not being very great, close. but not being bad yeah. and all just being close. That could be a really close division. That could yeah. be that could be very the close. NFC South. Of this I like the, no Lions. the Bears. Lions North would North be North my North second North. guess. Yeah, no one picked the Bears. I think the Bears might be better. Yeah. I'm excited to see mm. just, Justin I'm Fields. I'm super enough. excited, with but I don't, DJ Moore. DJ Moore, I don't yeah. know what their defense looks like at all. Yeah, it's true. I mean, they got two linebackers. They have TJ Edwards. I mean, NFC South. Are you, you going to not oh say? Falcons. Oh, they're, they're, they're supposed to be pretty good. I wouldn't even be surprised if it but was then the, the Buccaneers. Saints. I'm picking no. the Saints. Buccaneers, not the no. Why? The they don't Buccaneers. Have Tom Brady. Stop, Will. The, Buc- the Stop. Buccaneers were terrible with Tom Brady last Who year. Who do they, they have? have they Baker have Mayfield. Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield is their starting QB. This might be his year. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it is. But and I you said the wrong answer, Joe. It's Tom Brady. Tom Brady retired, retired for real. I'm going to go Saints. It's the same. I'm going to go Saints. Uh, my, actually, Derek Carr is going to go swear. off with, uh, with Chris Olave and, and Michael Thomas. Who, did, who is the Falcons quarterback? Yes. Uh, Desmond Ritter. Desmond Ritter. Yeah, I'm not. But they got, I'm not rolling. Uh, yeah, I'm going to switch. I'm going to stop trying to make bold predictions. How did Trey Lance I'm not win thir- at least second QB job? Because the, the 49ers. The 49ers. Won it over him. Because the 49ers think they're Purdy smarter than everybody I else. I the 49ers are like, ooh, we're so smart. The NFC South is exactly like the NFC North. If Brock Purdy is your um, no, none of them would surprise me. If Brock the Purdy's that good no, and he's your none number of them one would starter, surprise me. It would surprise me at the Buccaneers one, and it would surprise Absolutely. me at the Panthers one. All right, I'll uh, say Panthers Falcons. Have, anyway. have a bigger chance at the. Buccaneers. Oh no, Miles Sanders could carry those Panthers all the way to the ship. This yeah. is <laughs> Miles See, Sanders you're isn't be, carrying yeah, anybody. You're going to be proved wrong this year. Miles, right, I, I, NFC I, West. I'm saying Falcons. Who you saying? Saints. 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 All right, I'll I'll be the outlier. All right. NFC West. Uh, uh, it's the 49ers. 49ers. 
I don't it's definitely really not the Cardinals. Doubt. It's not the Cardinals. It's, it's not the Rams. 49ers. It could uh, potentially it could be, be the, the Seahawks. It's not the Rams. It, it, who's the Rams? Definitely, it's not the Rams. Stafford. Stafford? I didn't know if he was It definitely right could be the Rams or the 49ers, but yeah. I have to go 49ers. I hate Stafford. I'm, really? I'm, a, I'm a Stafford fan. Dude. I don't. Why? I don't Because so many him. people, when I they went into the Super Bowl, Stafford. were saying that he deserved a ring. For what? Oh, come on, Ian. Come what on, Ian. What did he deserve a ring for? Come on, Ian. Tell me right now. Do what it. did he? What did he deserve a ring for? Yes. Okay. If you're gonna say that, who 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 deserves a ring right now in the in the in the in the NFL? Jim right Hurts. <laughs> who right now? Wh- who would you say there's a veteran right now that could retire soon that deserves Matt a Ryan. ring? Matt Ryan. Okay. Why? He's better than Matt Ryan. What did he do to uh, deserve a ring? I would I would he argue was, that he was, they're probably saying he, he never was, took his team anywhere. Yeah, he was on the Lions. So he had Calvin Johnson. <laughs> Cal- okay. Yeah. Okay. Does that make a good team? If you I take every other player off of the Eagles and it's just it's just Jalen Hurts. They still and have AJ NFL Brown. players. He could have ma- he could have at least been the top of his division one time. I disagree so bad. I this is why I hate Matthew Stafford. This is why he did you nothing. Know, you, he you weren't alive to know what he I, did. I he was, was alive. He was, and I still he was Patrick it. Mahomes before Patrick Stop. Mahomes okay. was. He had, just, no, he, he wasn't. He was Stop. not. I know, but but actually, <laughs> okay, good. He was. <laughs> he was. He's a very good quarterback, and he definitely deserved a ring. He did not. Dude, he, dude, he took. He went to the Rams one year. I was, one year listen, he took, went to the Rams. Listen, went to the Rams and won he a Super put Bowl. A super when, team. Matthew Jared Stafford Goff could win. <laughs> Jared Goff could Wait, win with a super listen, team. They literally were like, right, we need to change one thing. Matthew QB. Stafford did not I'm hire Jared Goff. Goff they, needed Goff they needed to change one thing. They I'm said not saying our Matthew quarterback Stafford wasn't needs any to be good. changed. He just didn't deserve a quarterback. ring. He didn't do anything to yes, deserve a ring. Matt, yes, he I don't, no, he didn't. I, I, he yes, he was a good quarterback, but he didn't deserve a ring. I think that Matthew Stafford... Okay, does anybody deserve a ring? That's what I'm saying. I mean, what is your what is your basis for know. deserving like, a ring? Uh, I think I if you're he a multi like Hurts. all-star, Jalen Hurts actually like took his team somewhere. <laughs> like, okay, you're gonna say the Rams had a super team? The uh, Eagles have a super team. The Rams, the Rams had, had a ev- super team. The Rams Absolutely, had a they super- did. Yeah. So do the Eagles. Yeah, but so if you're gonna make the defense, then not, listen, if you're gonna make the defense that his team around him was the reason, then you have to say, well, Jalen Hurts isn't that good because the team around him. You're one of those people now. Good no, luck. I'm so happy I think, for you. No, but I think I think Hurts <laughs> I, carried this is, them. Though. This is why I hate. Yeah, this Matthew Stafford did not like carry Matthew the Rams. Stafford. I I don't think he did. Either. I don't he think he not, carried he them. Not. I don't think he carried them. But if and he wasn't the quarterback, they wouldn't why, have won. Jim, I, I you think, still haven't told me why he deserved the ring. I think because you, of his talent. I think you say that he deserves the <laughs> ring because he's a very long-term veteran and he's a very good. Look at his he's numbers with the Lions. Quarterback. He's a solid quarterback. He's solid. But there like, are tons the, of solid quarterbacks that don't exactly. have rings. I, absolutely. But he's more than just solid. He's better than do Kirk think, Cousins. Do you think Matt Ryan deserves he's a ring? He's better than Jared Goff. No. Because Matt Ryan almost had a ring. Okay. And he blew it. Yeah, but he almost had a ring. And with he the blew it. Okay. Blew so it. He I blew, and they had a... They, had, but, they literally but, had... But, but Stafford did. never got there. They with, yeah. with literally the had... They literally had so I'm saying, a very good Matt defense. Matt Ryan carried the Falcons there. Okay, fair. So I'm saying, if does he, my he, only point is, I, I agree with you. He blew coming, it totally. But if, if you say that Matthew Stafford does, but you, I don't think you can then say Matt Ryan didn't. Okay, but what do you mean so by this? Like, I don't think Matt Stafford, like, deserve, like, he should have a, like, but I think he, like, he earned his ring. Oh, that's okay. Absolutely. But he didn't and just, he, like, deserve a ring for what he did in the, Detroit. I think so. <laughs> That's a more simple I think, way to put it. I think, for I, honestly, being, I think it's debatable. I, listen, because listen, I can see listen, listen, listen. Shohei Otani <laughs> is stuck on the Angels for a team that doesn't put anything around him. For we're years, not, they don't put anything I, around we're him. We're not comparing Shohei Otani I'm to not, Matthew Stafford. I'm not. Otani what I'm saying is ring, the yes. situation <laughs> is the <laughs> same. The situation is the same. When you have a team that doesn't put anything around you, how can you be the number one main at fault guy when you don't when you don't take them to a Super Bowl. Tom Brady did uh, in a division in a division with the Packers with Aaron Rodgers. And Aaron Rodgers did it, sort of. Sort of, and he hadn't gone back. So does Aaron Rodgers deserve a ring? Oh yeah, another ring. Yes. Okay, why did Wait. he get a ring with the Packers then? If he deserves another ring. Wait, what did you say? Does Aaron <laughs> Rodgers deserve another ring? 
uh, deserve another ring? Yes. Uh, I don't know at this point. Okay. Because does he deserve another ring? I would I would say he deserves one more than Matthew Stafford. Oh, see exactly why he was on the done Packers. So much more than he, Matthew Stafford. He has. What? He yeah. just won back to back MVPs. MVPs. Okay, when did he get to the Super Bowl last? <laughs> I don't know. I probably was like, <laughs> the time he won. When if your yeah, if your thing for deserving a ring oh is yeah, getting to the gosh. Super Bowl and winning a Super Bowl. With the team you started with, then Aaron Rodgers that's should have not, seven. Uh, it's not only that's that. It's not only that. But that's I'm what he just, said. Oh, all no. I, no, Aaron Rodgers all I said, basically kept I said, winning. I don't take away from what, what Matthew on the Lions. Stafford. I'm not saying that Matthew Stafford's bad or anything. The reason they I just traded don't for Matthew understand Stafford why is he's a like, good quarterback with the Lions. I don't understand why everyone was rooting for the Rams. Oh, strict, every time because I Because he was stuck was on the Lions. He didn't go anywhere. But he had the talent to take a good team to the Super Bowl. So he just deserves a ring? Yeah, because he won it. If no, he didn't I meant win it, then I would agree with you. Saying, okay, well, th- before the game was played, d- d- they he, were all saying you're yeah. rooting for him because he deserves a ring. Yeah, I think. Why is that dumb? If you're rooting for him because they think he deserves so a ring because of how good, good he player, is, so any random good player could switch teams and he just deserves a ring. If he goes to a team that's in competition, and he's a good player. Yes, he deserves a I ring. I think quarterbacks okay, well, instantly have that right to 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 deserve a ring. I think quarterbacks more so because they are the number one most important player on that team. So, therefore, any veteran quarterback is going to be in that um, zone of deserving a ring. Matthew Stafford, definitely going to, I would think at this point, going to be a Hall of Famer. Probably. Probably. And I feel like Matthew Stafford is definitely on the higher end. So, I can understand why you'd be saying that he deserves a ring, but I also agree with Ian that if you're basing it on what he did with the Lions, so he like, didn't so like really say you're, Derek Carr, someone anything. like Derek Carr, who's been st- stuck in a bad situation, right. just went to a contending team, he just deserves a ring. Okay, but uh, okay, let, uh, let, let me let I set agree the with base. That so like, hard. Let's set the base real fast. Derek though. Carr's what do a perfect you mean example. by deserve a ring? What do you mean by deserve a ring? Be- like they just if, like if think they that, go like, to a team and you go, I want to see him win a ring. I think he deserve okay. he. I think he deserves one. Like I, I don't can, understand like, why my, you're so no, mad because wh- he, they people rooted for him because they wanted him to win a ring. Th- that's the point. They weren't rooting for him for because he wanted they wanted him to win. They were rooting for him because they, they wanted him he to win. Deserved a ring. I uh, okay. If you're you just saying just, he you just can deserves just like to sit Matthew on the- Stafford and root for him, but I don't understand why he did like. All of a sudden, that so that's, what, so that's what you're hung up on is people said he deserved a ring. Yeah, that's yes. pretty much what he said. But okay, but like, what, what, what do you like? They just liked him and thought that when he went to it, like he should There's, get a ring I, before he retired. The difference okay. between you just liking someone and just thinking that he deserved. Like, well, I have a friend who's a fan of Derek Carr. Right. I don't think that if he just left and went to. I don't know. Say the 49ers. They have a good roster that he just like deserves a ring. What do you think of Derek Carr? Well, like, they would just be rooting for him because win, they want him if he does one of their favorite yeah, players. If he doesn't win a ring. Okay. But what we're talking about is the Super Bowl. So if you go to a Super Bowl, right, and it's this team versus this team, and you go, I would really. We wanted Hurts to win because you thought he deserved a ring last year, right? <laughs> but. I don't, he, I don't. I don't necessarily say basis, he's deserving though. a ring. But that's what I'm uh, saying is I don't un- like. I don't think people actually meant. Oh, and, they just think he should get handed a ring. And I'm not ring. coming from where it's like I'm not going where like Matthew Stafford won the Super Bowl and then saying he didn't deserve a ring. It was before the Super Bowl that everyone was saying, oh well, he deserves a because ring because so of the Lions. He deserved a ring. Yeah, I can agree with that. I think people liked him. Well, Jim, and what do so you they exactly were like, okay, he point. came to the Lions. That he came from the Lions. So like, ah. Oh, he, he deserves a ring because he's a veteran who's really good in the league. No, he's not Mahomes level. No, he's not Aaron Rodgers level. But he 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 was really good. But that's my point. So, like, yes, I, just I think see he a deserved difference a ring. In, like, I would have no problem if everyone just jumped on the Matthew Stafford bandwagon and like, oh, I want him to win. But, but that's this the same as thinking he deserves a ring. No, there's a difference. I just don't Do you think Derek difference. Carr deserves a ring? Like, you well, again, your 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 definition of deserves a ring. I Be think based he, on what he did at he, the Raiders. If he wins a ring, I would say he earned it. Okay. okay. Based he on what he did with the Raiders, do you think at this point right I don't think right he now. should just be handed a ring now. Okay, that's okay, my point. That's I, his, that's, I, I think don't that's think, what he's saying. Like, why the heck? I think you both agree. Uh, it's more just... I think you the word deserve is tripping us up. Jimmy's going off the actual player, and he's going off the player... The people liking the player. the team. 
I think you just think about the pe- Matthew Matthew Stafford. Stafford. What I'm saying is, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Here's where I'm getting tripped up is. You said you don't like Matthew Stafford. You hate Matthew Stafford because people thought he deserved a ring. And he's not good I don't understand. See, that's what I, <laughs> exactly, exactly. I don't no, understand no, 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 that. No, no, no. I don't understand no, that. Reasoning. But remember, we had that. Like, I don't hate Chiefs, uh, Niners Super Bowl, and you were rooting for the Niners, right? And, like, mainly it was just because everyone else was, was rooting for the Chiefs. But, like, say you were rooting for Jimmy Garoppolo, like, right? I was rooting for Jimmy Garoppolo. Okay, but that doesn't. So you just thought that he deserved a ring? No, because he okay, didn't win. Okay, that's my point. Because you were rooting for him. You didn't think that he deserved the ring, but you were still rooting for no, him. After that, you, you, after he won, he deserved that ring. But I didn't, Well, yeah, because he earned it. Yeah. Right, but I don't think... So I that's think what I'm saying agree. is I don't think that I'm going to hate a player just because people thought that they deserved a ring. Uh, you can hate no. a player for any number I, of reasons. Well, I, agree, no, but no, I don't no, think no, it's no. a valid he, reason. No, I'm, well, so. I'm mainly just hating that... You're hating all the, the stuff people who liked him. That Yeah. You're not it's hating just, him himself. Yeah, but that's why that you dislike question. a player. Yeah. Is the the media and everything surrounding him. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's but, why you dislike yeah, but, a player every time. But yeah, there's, I don't, no really, there's a difference there's between a, rooting for a guy to win and thinking that he deserves it before he won. Like uh, obviously you deserve uh, it once you won, you earned it. This isn't recording. I like, think I think that what you're saying is I agree. That they shouldn't just be handed a ring because oh, they play with the Lions. I agree with that. Okay. I agree with that. But I don't think that you like you're saying I hate this player because, like, you're making it sound like you didn't think he was good and you didn't think he deserved to go to the no. I just hated the, all the stuff the Rams it. and win a title because I had friends that were like before he even won. You guys the, keep going. It was in the playoffs before they won. Right. They were just rooting for him because oh, he deserved the ring because of all that he did in the lines. And it's yeah. just like I it, think he. I think he. Yeah, he was I good. Think he but like, earned the love he got. For wanting to, for people wanting to. Okay, that's my point. But I just yeah, I I agree. I just think that I just think that you guys should like shake hands and like do a hug. (laughs) Me, I'm always arguing. (laughs) There are two people who are going to argue. Arguments was bound to break out. (laughs) As soon as he said he agreed, I was fine. (laughs) (laughs) You you guys are so similar in that way. Jake just sit here. Jake and I just sit here kindly. Patiently waiting, <laughs> trying to explain our points. Okay, so we're all agreeing the 49ers because and that Matthew yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because and Matthew he Stafford deserves sucks. a ring. <laughs> I think Brad Purdy deserves a ring. Christian McCaffrey deserves a ring. <laughs> I, yes, uh, we're not. That's how he does it. <laughs> deserves yeah, no one deserves anything. He he does Andrew because Luck he's, a, he's I a want the fans back. to comment whether they agree with me or not. He does because he's yeah. a running back and he's not. In charge of leading an entire team to a Super Bowl. Okay, so, so does Derrick Henry dominate. deserve one? Derrick Henry, yes. Okay, because he's a superstar. I was just making sure. All right, the North, <laughs> AFC North. AFC North. <laughs> we um, skipped the we NFC skip, East. Well, it's the Eagles. Obviously. Eagles. It's the Eagles. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I just he was going to root for the Cowboys <laughs> because everyone thinks that the Eagles deserve the win. All right, <laughs> uh, Bengals. <laughs> that one seems kind of easy. No, uh, no, it is not. Barrow. It's, it's not, not over. Wait, they why? might not have him for week one. They don't know uh, yet. Uh, we don't uh, know Bengals. Yet. Bengals. Are you serious? Okay, I'm gonna go. That's why? I'm gonna go here for the sleeper team. I'm gonna go Pittsburgh Steelers. It's okay. You, you're allowed to be wrong. That's fine. A- 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 hold up. Anything Jim, Ray, you know they go. don't have they Roethlisberger have Rashad anymore, anymore, right? I know. Like, <laughs> that's why I'm rooting for him. <laughs> Lamar Jackson is not as good as he's gonna be. He I doesn't. Agree. He, he's, I would agree. He thinks the late Ravens are just going to be like. They're going to be like. A, they're going to be like 10, 11, okay. 12. Teams. I, Who do you think? Division, in this division, in this division, just 10, 11, I think, 12. Wins. I think That's Cleveland. Well, the Bengals are easily going to be way better than that. <laughs> I think Cleveland is not is <laughs> last. Better? I think Cleveland is last. I think. The Ravens are are third, and I think the Bengals and Steelers go to the end. No, I think yeah. the Steelers I think are because last. Bengals, Ravens, Steelers, Browns. Because I just I th- don't see I Mike Tomlin losing, having th- a losing. Season. I think the Steelers are way better question. than people are giving okay, them credit for. Okay, question. Real quick, real it quick. Depends on what Deshaun Watson. Who do you think like. will have a better yeah. record, the Ravens or the Jets? Jets. Jets. I would have to check their schedule. Jets because they're not in as hard a division. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. <laughs> The Who? Dolphins and Bills are in their division. Oh, okay, the Bills. The Dolphins are not. Okay, yeah, okay let's are. wait. The Dolphins. No, I, I'm not uh, the, well, Dolphins. the Dolphins. The Dolphins. But I'm not on the Jets. Okay. Either. okay AFC okay. South. The Jaguars. The uh, Jaguars. I Jaguars. could make an argument for Jaguars. the Titans. Jaguars. Maybe, Jaguars. but not Titans. Jaguars. I'm definitely they don't have a quarterback. They're, they're best, Jaguars. best quarterback. They don't really have a QB. Jaguars. They don't have a QB. Jaguars. The Jags. Jags. But they're gonna go far. But the Titans are. The Titans are always like no one thinks they're gonna do anything, and then they do something. Mm. The Titans they do QB, though. Just they have Ryan Tannehill. Mm. Yeah. And, and every yeah. other team in their division is Bills. Right. I mean, it's got to be the Bills. But, the Bills. But, but let's say, let's do our 
or three. I don't want to pick this one. Though uh, because two, three, I, the Bills okay. aren't going to be as good. Here's what I'll say: the Jets aren't going to be Who's coming as good. in the second Dolphins in that division? I it's think the go Jets. Bills, Jets, the Dolphins, Jets. Dolphins. Here's the thing, Patriots. though, with the Jets. Though, here's the thing I with the Jets. Though, they, they, their issue, a lot of their issues last year could solely be put on a quarterback. Yeah. Their defense was legit. Garrett Wilson was legit, and Brees Hall, before he got injured, was legit. And then you added Dalvin Cook and Brees Hall. So now you have Dalvin Cook and Brees Hall in your running back room. Listen, Aaron Rodgers, I believe he can have a back, comeback season. He just came yeah. off two MVP seasons. Yeah, and then a season where everyone knew it was his last season with the Packers. I think... That the Jets, as much as I hate to say it, because everyone's just like, the Jets, they deserve to win because they're the Jets. I think the Bills so do you think they deserve always to win? let down. <laughs> I think the Bills always let down somewhat. They're never as I, good as I you agree. think agree. they're going to be. I agree. So I think the Jets and Bills go to the but last have a feeling three weeks of the season, and then that it's would the be Bills. amazing. I just yeah. have this feeling the Dolphins, that the Jets, as long as the Bills end up winning, there's just something that's not going to go right. I, With, I, 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 feel the like. I don't know the Jets because I just like there's always that one team like the Bron like I don't I mean, think they're gonna be as bad as the Broncos but the Broncos were so hyped up they're gonna be this and it was total yeah. well Russell Wilson was hyped I, up I could see I just don't think the, the same Jets thing happening are with be the Jets good, that not happened that with the Buccaneers. I agree. I don't, Brady think, I don't think the I Jets like are going to be, be bad. Thing. I it's just a, don't think they're going to be as good as everyone thinks. Because it's a very di- a very similar situation. Is yeah. the Jets were a good team? They just needed a quarterback. The Buccaneers were a good team. Yeah. Like, and do you think the Jets quarterback? Like, are you high on the high enough on the Jets to where you think they could take down the Chiefs in the playoffs? No, yes. no, no. Like, yeah, see, that's where they're, the they're going to be like the Bills. They can't. They can move, move past all the other and teams, like, but can't be the Chiefs. Like, if you were to pick depends. right, if you were, make, if you were making a prediction the right now, would I don't you think pick anyone can the defense? The right. Defense. We're going to the playoffs, right? People overlook defensively okay. how good the and, and their secondary. They were pretty high on them. I don't think they were overlooking them. But okay, but that's what they're saying. Is, oh well, they're just quarterback is bad, and so they were like, well, they're not going to be a playoff team with a quarterback and one of the. I mean, can you get? I mean, Brees Hall was very good last year. Dalvin Cook is one of the best running backs in the league. Legitimately. Yeah. Okay. Plus, they have Sauce so Gardner as one of the top five corners. Top five corners Quentin already. And Quinton Williams. You think they could... You, right now, who are you taking? Bengals or Jets? Bengals. Or Jets? I'm taking Bengals. Bengals. Like, um, that's another thing. I'm, that's, well, I mean, here's the difference. That I'm putting the difference the is, I put the Bengals up high because they have Joe Barrow, and they always just seem to Listen, win. But I don't think they have the best team. No, Their offensive line is – that's where the Jets come in. Their well, offensive much, line is garbage. How much can Same you trust the a brand-new team? Yeah, That's my point. Like, okay, like, agreed. I'm to go tr- far. Agreed. I mean, sure, to have Not a good that season. Not that it's my point, but, but the, I, I trust the, the Bengals. Chiefs and Bengals more than the Jets. Yeah, just because I feel like they have a the lot Jets. of experience. I agree. But I'm just and saying, could, those teams continue could, to could they beat the Chiefs? I don't think they will, but could they beat the Chiefs? Here, I think Jim. they have the talent well, I think it goes Chiefs above everyone, then Bengals, and then it's like – Bills are just a little bit higher than Jets, yeah. and it's like Jets and Chargers and yeah. Um, oh, I think the Chargers watch are gonna the be better Jets this just year, come but. out and lay an egg. <laughs> I would I would be fine with that. I'm that not a big Chiefs fan. Crazy. As long just like I know the Patriots aren't going to be very good. Um, and the Miami Dolphins. Listen, I'm sorry, but Tua T- Tungavaloa is just not the guy. For the Dolphins. For anybody. Hmm. He's I'm, not the guy. He's I feel not, like you he's, could see he's that o- now. He's a little over height, but he's not bad. I feel like he could he could grow. I don't think he's hit his ceiling. I, 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 I think I'm not I, high, I would take like, him. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, not high on the I'm Dolphins. I'm not a huge fan but of him. Who, but would you take they, him over Kirk Cousins? Oh, that's a, um, I think I, I would take him the I think same. You're, I think you're hating uh, yes, up, like because I think you're too low on Kirk Cousins. I'm not thinking he's good. I don't think, no. I think Kirk Cousins is good. I just know Kirk Cousins. He's going to make a is, dumb mistake he's late. Go, he's not going to win anything big. No, I They're going to clean yeah, up on the garbage teams that they play. They're going to win maybe like one or maybe one good game where they really beat a team. You're like, whoa. Against the Bills. <laughs> against the Bills. But that was, again, the Bills just kind of lost it there. And that was an insane. Yes. Like, that was an insane I game. Think yeah, the Bills the, do that every time. And, Anytime and, there's a big game, they do and something. destroying the Cowboys last year was, was pretty impressive. Or was that, did they do that the year before? I think the Cowboys won last Destroyed year. Destroyed them last Yeah. Yeah, I agree. But I think Kirk Cousins is good. I don't think he's uh The Cowboys get beat you the pissed. Vikings like yeah. 42 to something. The, but, the, but the Vikings beat the Cowboys the year before that. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Um, this is one of the divisions. Right, final, that is, final one, and then we'll wrap this up. We'll wrap up the pod. West. I mean, no doubt. Okay, after the Chiefs. 
Uh, probably charge. Char- I mean, just okay. Uh, Char- <laughs> after the charge, I was gonna say it's the like Bron- the it's, Chiefs. It's, I was gonna say the Broncos, but Jerry Judy's hurt and. When is Jerry Judy now? Bronco- <laughs> I, exactly, I know, but I don't think what the Broncos are, are going to be as bad as last year. Definitely not. Uh, I don't know. I can see them being as bad as last year. <laughs> I was going to say I don't know what faith. What 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 was given to me? If they to, have to more than three primetime games, the and I'm, Sean I'm, they're going to be my least favorite team. Yeah. Oh yeah, Sean Payton. He he's going to be the only the only reason they're good. If they uh, if, if, I, anybody, I, if anybody yeah. can go in there and get the best out of the better than they last have. year, but not better than the Chargers, I don't think. But, yeah, but here's the issue the with the Chargers, Chargers coach. Is I don't awful. think the Chargers are amazing, but I don't think I, that the Broncos. I love are the Chargers. I like the I Chargers love a lot. Herbert. They're just ne- they but just their are coach is Herbert's so like terrible. Herbert's like the new Matthew Stafford. No, I think I he's he's yeah. he's a bum he's Matthew better. No, he's only because he's newer. He's um, only because he's newer. We need to look up uh, <laughs> after this. Everyone take a breath and we're gonna watch nice Matthew hair. Stafford highlights yeah. <laughs> yeah, from yeah. 2004. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, but, I'm not. Um, the Raiders are not gonna be. The Raiders are gonna be the bottom of the division because yeah. they always I, are. I, I feel bad for the Raiders. I do too. I, I do too. But <laughs> because they got screwed, screwed over. Garoppolo. Oh. Um, I am so happy what Derek Carr did to the. To the Raiders, though. Why? They want it because it's so funny. They're like, We're, we would like to trade you to the Saints. And he's like, yeah, nah, I'm going to invoke my no trade. And then the second that he can choose where he goes and be a free agent, he's like, um, I choose the Saints. <laughs> I was like, yes. <laughs> that was awesome. I like Derek Carr, Carr a lot. I, and I like. I do not <laughs> like the owner of the Raiders. He just looks like he would. He looks like a pirate. He he looks like he like bays in <laughs> sludge. Actually, no. All right, so obviously we this is going to be a biased answer if we say who's going to be in the Super Bowl. Let's take the Eagles out of it. Who are you putting in the Super Bowl? The in Eagles. The, in the, Eagles in the are NFC? out of it. Let's just say. <laughs> oh, the the NFC? Eagles. <laughs> All right, Eagles. Uh, <laughs> no, take the Eagles right. out. Who's your next pick? It has to be 49ers or Cowboys. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to say 49ers and Bills. I'm gonna say four well, the Chiefs. Chiefs. <laughs> I'm gonna say Eagles and Chiefs. <laughs> I would not be surprised at. But my oh, only concern with the Chiefs is Chris Jones is threatening yeah. I to hold I think the out. Eagles and the Chiefs are gonna hold be the new Cavs eight. and Warriors. This is rough because you I'm take gonna the Eagles say, out of it. I'm gonna say Niners <laughs> and Bills. Exactly. Yes, yeah. they're gonna be the Super Bowl if the Eagles are out. You of think it. the Bills even over the Chiefs? Yes. I think I'm no. going Cowboys and. Well, well, well. If the Eagles don't do it, you think the Cowboys are gonna beat? The 49ers. Yes. I mean, as much as I don't like the Cowboys, let's just look at this realistically. You honestly think that the Cowboys are going to be a good team in the playoffs? Oh, no, yeah. the 49ers won't be good. They'll be having like a running back as their quarterback. Even with a running back as <laughs> their quarterback, like they'll four... still beat the Cowboys. No, the I'm Cowboys not the can't Cowboys win big win. games. They never have. Even if, even if right, the entire prediction. 49ers get red we, eye, we or all pink know eye. how bad Dallas is. Watch them win it all. <laughs> all right, who's your um, prediction? Uh, even, uh, Eagles are out of it. I would say Niners and probably I'm gonna say the Bengals. Oh, you that would be so stink. boring. I was gonna go there, but since he did, I'll go. I'll stick with Niners Chiefs. Jake, Niners, Chiefs. I want to say Niners Same. Bengals though. I think Niners Bengals. All right, there you have it. Oh, Thanks. what if we have the, uh, like the Niners Jets? Well, then that would be and another that option. That would be the Niners and the Jets. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, I'm going Niners. <laughs> well, thank you very much, so for tuning in on this yes. episode. You yes. know, we guys, d- we definitely we talked about push. what we planned to talk about. Yeah, we are coming in on 40 episodes, and we're going to hit 50 episodes by the end of this year, and probably <laughs> even <laughs> 60 <laughs> episodes. <laughs> just That's true. But so by 50 episodes, make might sure that set. you are subscribed. Make sure you comment. Hit that little bell icon because when you do that, you get notified. You because on it, what's coming up. How? Because how are you uh, going to know when our fantasy football them. draft drops? Just, That's true. Just, just tell them. How are you going to know? I'm all set up and ready for that. I am doing research. If you don't hit I'm that not, bell, you're not going to know yeah. when we post. We're, We're going to post, like ding, ding. and you're going to get the bell, and then it's going to tell do you. Do as the whatever. Phillies say: ring that bell. No, and cross out that like bell. the ring and write. Ring the bell. Smash that bell. And. There it is. Let's do it.